and welcome to my first video. I'm going to be covering League of Legends content all season long, starting today with the LPL preseason power rankings. I intend on doing daily content, whatever that may entail. Tomorrow, I'm already looking forward to the LPL season starting and considering doing a video about those games and beginning, you know, a snowball of content that will grow and grow and grow like a new news ball. Um, I intend on doing every video as close to one take as I can. As I say this, I've done this like five times because I misspeak or whatever. Um, when I look at this whole, you know, uh, my goals, my whole mission with this is to hopefully get more League of Legends content out there. I don't think that there's enough content. When I was looking last season at LCK and LPL, related games it was hard to find content about the games that you could see on youtube or wherever else in short form content i believe you know like there's highlight videos but no one's really going over the game at all or giving you like notes and things like that they're short like five minute long videos obviously this video will not be five minutes long because of preseason power rankings but every week i hopefully will do rank power rankings for each region and cover the games you know it's not gonna be crazy it's not gonna be very analytical it'll be more like noting what happens the big moments Maybe things that obviously my, you know, noob brain can comprehend compared to, you know, where people that obviously know more about the game will be able to analyze it mechanically and whatnot. But for the sake of this video, I'm using statistics from last year to determine who is going to do well in the LPL this year. Um, I mean, the power rankings, I think, like, the you can guess who the bottom few teams are. Um, it gets to, you know, the top six or seven where people are like, oh, well, you know, there's a toss-up there. What do you think? So, 17, I have victory, 5. Excuse my handwriting. It's not great. Um, victory, 5. Adds Rookie. Adds Carso. People got him the bother. I think they could be maybe, you know, in the middle region by the end of, you know, the season. But when it starts right now, I have my doubts. I think there's a lot of veterans here that have been cast off of their teams for a reason. And with that, you have to, you know, kind of understand maybe it's maybe it's time to put them to pasture. Maybe they can't do it anymore. 16, I have we... I think, you know, they've went with a younger lineup. That younger lineup gives them the benefit of maybe, you know, getting up to the middle area because, I mean, young players all the time in China do well. I mean, you look at it every year. There are a couple of players that I'll go over in this that I believe, you know, have taken the league by storm last year that could maybe, you know, challenge for a playoff spot or regional spot where they could possibly sneak in when it's all said and done. Um Next, 15, I have Rare Adam. Rare Adam, I believe, weren't able to keep all their um, amateur players, and that's what's hurt them. There are some other teams that have taken their amateur players, and their amateur players were actually pretty good last year, and could have moved up higher in these rankings, I believe. I mean, when it comes to the big dogs, I think they're going to struggle. I think Wee's going to struggle. I mean, even TT in 14. TTG. Outside of the support role, I don't think TT's got much going on with them. I mean, Southwind is really good. I think he is one of the better supports in the LPL. But when it comes to this season, I don't think he's going to be able to carry them to where they need to go. 12. Anyone's legend. Like I said, excuse my handwriting. Not great. Looks like a 12-year-old did it. Well, I mean, 12-year-old. 12 12-year-olds 12 have better handwriting than this. Like a 2-year-old did this. So, with that, anyone's legends, they brought back Maple. They brought Maple onto their team. They have Betty. They have two veterans there. I think with those veterans, I mean, similar to Victory 5, I think these five teams could go in any order. Um, even maybe a couple other teams over here. You know, it's just really the top six are the top dogs in this season going into the year and I think anyone could say that it's more of guessing who of these you know other 11 teams have a chance to sneak into that top six make some noise make some wins depending on what patch is up depending on you know what meta is in play here I mean what lane is the one that's carrying the games in 12 
12th, I have uh, Ultra Prime. Cryon is with Ultra Prime now. Cryon, solid mid laner. Is he going to be able to carry this team? I don't think so. But is he, I mean, I would rather have him than have Southwind in 14th there with TT because, I mean, what's, this, what's the support going to do compared to what um, Cryon's going to do? I mean, Cryon's going to carry the game a lot more than Southwind will. And then in 11th, I have OMG. OMG is a team that I will look at to be a good bet to get to top six. Cream is really good. Cream is one of the best mid laners in the league, one of the best young mid laners in the world. I believe that he could make this team get into the top six. Unlike Cryon, Cryon, I think the book's out on Cryon, what Cryon can do. And the world has seen him, solid player, very good player even. But Cream has that potential to be that player, way up there, top five mid laner in the world like it, it's there for him to be able to do it and i think with that he might be able to make some noise in 10th we have fpx fpx disappointed last year disappointed last year and tore down and by tearing down i believe they you know are no longer in this top six like could lwx and hang maybe get them there yes i think they have the best young jungler in the lpl I think he is fantastic. I have him, I believe, second or third in my um, top five junglers going into the LPL split here. Excuse me. Going into the split here. I think he, he could maybe be able to get them into the top six by making plays. I mean, making things happen in the top and mid, in mid lanes. Because Doombe being out is a big deal. I think losing Doombe was a massive failure by FPX. I think they, they should have held on to him. They really should have held on to him. LGD is a knight. I don't know what LGD is really going to do. I mean, obviously, you probably can't read that. Hopefully, over time, I do better at this. Um, I believe that, you know, they're just a team that's kind of like, eh, what do you do? Like, it's kind of like, you know, Rare Adam and Team. There's no one really great on that team, but they – they have the parts to be able to get it done. They have the right mix of players that should be able to get them into the middle area. And will they be able to take them in the top six spots like OMG? I don't think so. FBX, I mean, could. But I think they are in the middle. We really don't know what they're going to do. IG, another team. IG more so can give us a lot of surprises, I believe. I mean, IG... Had a very, very good academy team last year. They, those pieces are on that team and around the LPL. They are going to win games that people don't think they're going to win. And I think they're going to lose a lot of games where people think that they were probably going to win. I mean, when you're playing one of the top teams, I think they're going to struggle making decisions. And what by struggling making those decisions, they're going to lose the games. I mean, when push comes to shove, late game, late game macro, they might have some trouble. In here, seventh, uh, Weibo Gaming, WG. The Shy, nice addition. S of M, Angel, Wanfang. I mean, this is the old Sooning roster, adding the Shy. I believe this team could make it to Worlds. They have the pieces to make it to Worlds. They have the players to be able to make it to Worlds. But these six teams are going to be hard to pass. This is going to be hard to B. Wan Feng is very good. Um, last year he had a down year. I think the loss of Sword Art was a big deal. Sword Art is a very good support. He's very experienced, especially in international play. Him going to the LCS, hopefully he didn't take a step back on the backup, well, the support that played last year for Sooning. Didn't quite do what Sword Art did, but I think that honestly he might be better than Sword Art long, long term for them. Um, I mean, Sword Art's been around a long time, and maybe it's finally catching up to him. Next, top. Now, this is where things get interesting because top has the potential to be the best team in the world. I think to some, they could be the best team in the world. Um, Zoom, very, very good. Knight, extremely talented. Maybe the best mid laner in the world. Jackie Love, very experienced. They have three core pieces 
in three lanes to be able to dictate play, control play, win games. There would be no surprise there if Top made it to Worlds. They could win the split. I mean, this is probably the lowest that they could be, in my opinion. I mean, there's a lot of, um, you know, exagger. I wouldn't even say I'm exaggerating. I'd say there's some hype with my rankings where I feel like some teams are going to do better than what people think. I mean, well, I mean, not even what people think. Um, more so, people are going to assume that these top teams are going to be really good. And, I mean, it's hard to ignore it. It's hard to ignore it. I'll go over it more there. I mean, I sound like I'm all over the place, and I am, because this is my first video, and uh, this looks really cheap, and it kind of is. Hopefully, if you like the content, if you kind of like what I'm offering personality-wise in terms of doing this, tell me. Um, it will make me want to invest more into this. I will be doing daily videos, like I said, but hopefully, you know, with a little bit of, you know, support and like, oh, this shit this is kind of good, I mean... It will make me want to keep going and invest more into it. Um, JDG is fifth. And hopefully over time my handwriting gets better because I am not used to writing on a whiteboard and spacing and all that jazz. So JDG, 369. 369, arguably maybe the best top laner in the world. Sometimes he looks like the best top laner in the world. At Worlds, he dominates. Kanavi, very good jungler. Very, very good jungler. Him and Yagao in the mid lane. They've got the top side of the map under control. I mean, if it's, excuse me, if it's a top meta, they could win the split when it comes down to playoff time. 369 is that good. Him and Zoom, those would be massive, massive matchups. Um, if it's a jungle meta, Kanavi could also carry. Their weak spot is their bottom lane. I think with top, it's one of those things where top, Mid lane, you know, is, is struggling when it comes to support. It's struggling when it comes to the jungle compared to JDG. And that's, I think, you know, the kind of... It's hard to tell. It's hard to explain, really, when you think about it. Like, you have all these mechanically talented players on top. You've got Zoom, and you've got Knight. And those guys should be able to carry the game. But if you don't have a facilitator in the mid lane to gank, create pressure... They're going to have trouble. They're going to struggle against a team like JDG where Kanavi's going around making things happen. In fourth, RNG. RNG has improved this offseason. Adding Bin in the top lane. Bin in the top lane is going to complete this team. This team has a chance to win Worlds. It, I mean, it was a Worlds contender last year. Wei is very good in the jungle. Jiahu, I mean, I don't think Jiahu is as good as um, Knight, but I think that he can get the job done. Get the job done, keep Knight under control, make sure Knight doesn't take over the game. Bin is very, very good. Their bottom lane with Gala and Ming, maybe one of the best bot lanes in the, in the world. I think that they are very, very competitive. I think that they could, you know, go all the way. I mean, this is the preseason. Who knows what the patches are going to do, the meta is going to do. But as of right now, that's how it looks. Our biggest surprise, EDG in third. They got hot. Does anything that they got hot? They have a good, they had a good team. Good team. Well-built team. Scout and Viper, your two carries, hard carried them. But I don't think that over a split, Scout can keep up with Knight, can keep up with Jahu, can keep up with Yagao and Angel and people like that. I think that he's going to have some troubles. Whereas, you look at a guy like Viper. Viper, I think, will dominate the bot lane. I think he'll dominate the majority of his map matchups. He is maybe the best bot laner in the world. When it comes to the LPL and LCK, you have the best players in the world. It's not like the LEC and LCS where you don't really have the best players in the world. I mean, you made a very good team, but individually, they don't have. you don't have the best players. Second, LNG. LNG made big moves. Adding Dune B in the mid lane. Dune B and Tarzan, jungle mid, they have the best jungle mid tandem in the world. That's without a doubt, in my opinion, when you take in both. I think Dune B can do it all, as we all know. He's up there in age, but he should be able to do it. Tarzan, best jungler in the world. Hands down. 
can can hard carry the game if he has to. And in a, if God forbid it is a jungle mid meta this year, because if it is, and that becomes like a big sticking point, and it's that matchup that decides games, LNG will be there in the final four when it comes to Worlds next fall, and especially in the spring split to start the year. Lastly, BLG, Billy B Gaming. I mean, if you can read any of this, good for you. If you couldn't read any of these things, hopefully you didn't skip around to see at the end, you know, what's his ball rankings? Because if you can't read them, you have to listen to the video. So BLG is number one. They have the top player, in my opinion, in support and crisp. Crisp is the top support in the world. He's very, very good. Pairing him with Uzi, big deal. This is high risk, high reward. We know what Uzi can do. Uzi, arguably the best ADC of all time. Can he get the job done in his return? We'll see. Age is a factor. I mean, has the game escaped him? We don't know. Going into the year, I don't think so. At least to start the year. Breathe in the top lane. Underrated. I think he may be one of the best tops in the region, if not the best. So it's going to be a matter of can Uzi take over the bottom side of the map as Breathe takes over the top side of the map. Mid is where they might struggle a little bit. Um, hopefully over time that comes together. I mean, having Crisp roaming around the map, he may be able to affect the game enough to be able to keep the mid laner ahead. It's going to be tough. Right now I kind of have a line here. Imagine a, a line here. You know, the top four teams, BLG, LNG, EDG, RNG, those four teams are the teams that I have right now, I believe, going to Worlds. I mean, it's big risk. I mean, JDG and Top are very, very good teams. They could easily both be in first. Who knows? I also think WG, WG could make it. IG, I mean, IG could be that team that just comes out of nowhere. They're very young. They have very talented players. And every year, a team does that in the LPL, you know, shakes things up. OMG was that last year with Cream. Cream was very, very good. I think that he could get up there. FPX, I mean, LWX and Hang. Pretty good bottom lane. Can they get up there? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I went over it, and I think they could get to six, but I don't know if they can get to top four. I think only these, I think only these teams here could really get there. Um, hopefully over time, like I said, my writing gets better when it comes to doing this on the whiteboard. If I get better whiteboards and firmer things to write on, I think that I'll be able to do better, better lighting or whatever, because I'm really winging it right now for my first video. Um, if you liked it, like it, subscribe. Hopefully over time they get better. Um, any criticism is good criticism. I mean, obviously, you know, this is what it is right now. Um, there's obvious shortcomings with this video, but hopefully the content is quality. Hopefully you agree. I mean, BLG in first, all the way to Victory 5 and 17th. I feel like Victory 5 is one of the biggest things that I said that might be controversial with Rookie and uh, Carissa, I mean, I could see people saying, well, maybe they should be up around FPX OMG because, I mean, those two players are really good. If it's a, similar to what I said with Doom B and Tarzan in second, can that jungle mid combo get them up there? And, I mean, it's, they get in the middle area, but I think overall they can't get beyond here. Um, so, thank you for listening. Thank you for coming to this video. Hopefully you come back for more content. Tomorrow I intend on doing more. So thank you for listening.